All right, good Friday morning, everyone. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Kramer to talk about stocks and the markets. Jim, tax reform, we're awaiting that final version it, today. It, it is interesting that the market is anticipating that things would go well. Uh, last night, with a actually a better situation, the market sells off. Uh, I, I, this is going to be down to the wire, and uh, I don't like the level of certainty given the fact that there are now several senators in the Republican Party who are against it. I'm not saying this is going to be ACA uh, where they failed. I am saying that the market uh, is uh, presuming maybe too much short term. I don't know. Uh, Ken Fisher, in a really good webinar that we did, uh, talked about, don't focus on this, that tax, there's been uh, many tax increases on corporations and the market's done better on an increase than on a cut. So short term, yes, if they don't get this done and the gang of five object to this uh, bill, uh, there could be more volatility. Longer term, focus on companies because companies are doing amazing things. Speaking of companies, how about Adobe and Costco last okay, night? Okay, so Adobe is, is tech, so it's harder to discern, but it was a fantastic quarter. And what I'm hoping, and I talked about with the gang, with my our ActionAlertsPlus.com gang, about how uh, we so we made such a big profit in Adobe, uh, but you know what, there, it, it continued to run. Could be an opportunity if it really comes in. Costco's just to the moon. I mean, Costco at 10% comparable store sales, that is the equivalent of a boom of a absolute boom and the the uh new signups are good uh, for the card uh the gross margins are good costco is i've not seen these numbers even when it was a very small company it's remarkable and, and you're right about these companies in real money this morning so some great analysis yeah, thank you and i i what's important for people to recognize i've been following costco since it came well since it, it became yeah but since it became public and uh it's mesmerizing how good they really are. Adobe, Shantanu Narayan has done, uh, he's made that company uh, into a cloud company. And I just lament that we uh, didn't hold on to it, but we were gonna address the situation uh, when the year turns. Now, speaking of the cloud, some investors were worried about Oracle's cloud revenue. Is the stock declines now, overblown? I, I think they are. Uh, I think that you, they had been very bullish about the cloud and then they, did this bring your own license, so to speak, which was a uh, not a bad idea, but what they're saying is, look, we'll give you a good deal on on-premises, don't leave us, we'll give you a good deal on cloud. If you look at the whole company in entirety, the revenue growth was very strong. Uh, it's a not an expensive company. You're, uh, it, it, the narrative may not have been as told as well. Uh, Safra Katz, who's just fantastic, did really put a damper on things when she gave her outlook because it was stark versus previous years. But I would say stay tuned to what Mark Hurd tells CNBC later today uh, at 11 because I think it's going to be more positive uh, than the, the way that the story's been framed. Meanwhile, Jim, the CSX CEO taking a medical leave, how worried should we be there? Well, I, I, I said this morning that Union Pacific is the one to buy. Um, I don't think that they're, uh, CSX was a not well run company. Uh, it's better run and, and the company's stock moved up about 25% when, uh, when Hunter Harrison was appointed. So it's reasonable for it to give back 10%. I continue to always like to favor the fundamentals. Union Pacific is a good company. Hmm. All right, Jim, who do you have on Mad Money on this Friday? Okay, uh, we have Atlassian, which is a fantastic tech company. Uh, Symbol Team, by the way, Enterprise Software, I've wanted them on for a very long time. And then to get a perspective on healthcare, a lot of people are interested, what about United Health? what about Aetna? Look at, at Centene, CNC. Michael Nydorf is was uh, very prescient about ACA. Uh, he is a man who could get, he and United health, if they were running our health care system in our country, everything would be much more under control. Watch what Michael has to say tonight. He's, he is very, very cogent about what's going on in health care in the country. All right, that's tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern you. on Med Thank Money. You, Jim and I are going to continue the conversation. A lot more to discuss, including net neutrality. Oh, yeah. Join us on ActionAlertsPlus.com.